In this example, I need to solve the equation, the quantity of 2x minus 5 all squared equals 27. One way to solve this problem is to expand the quantity 2x minus 5 all squared, collect all my terms on one side of the equation. I would have a quadratic equation that I could then solve by either factoring or the quadratic formula. But this specific type of problem here can be solved by a shorter method because in this case, I have something all squared equals a number. And when you have something squared equals a number, you can solve that type of equation by the square root property. This method is only used if the equation can be written in the form of u squared equals d, where u is an algebraic expression and d is a non-zero real number. First, we have to isolate the squared expression on one side of the equation and the number d on the other. So I'd get u squared equals d. Then I can take the square roots of both sides and when I do that, I get u equals, don't forget, plus or minus the square root of d because the equation u squared equals d has two solutions to it. So that's what we're going to do in this case. So the first step is to isolate the squared expression on one side. Well, that's already done for us. So now all I have to do is take the square roots of both sides of this equation. So I get the square root of the quantity 2x minus 5 all squared equals, don't forget your plus or minus, the square root of 27. Well, what do I get when I take the square root of 2x minus 5 all squared? These two undo each other, so I just get 2x minus 5 equals plus or minus. Now all I have to do is simplify the square root of 27. 27 is not a perfect square, so let's factor it. It is 3 times 9. 9 is a perfect square and 3 is a prime number. So I can write my square root of 27 as the square root of 9 times 3. So now I just get 2x minus 5 equals plus or minus, what's the square root of 9? It's 3. Can I simplify the square root of 3? No, so it just stays as the square root of 3. So now all I have to do is isolate the x. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 5 to both sides. So I get 2x equals 5 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 3. Be very careful at this stage. It's very tempting to do 5 plus 3 or 5 minus 3. You cannot combine these two terms because this is 3 times the square root of 3. These are unlike terms. You cannot combine them. So now the only thing left to do is get x by itself is I divide both sides by 2. So I get x equals 5 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 3 all divided by 2. Nothing will simplify over there, so that is one way of writing the two solutions to this problem. But once in a while you're asked to write the two solutions individually, so you'd write x equals 5 plus 3 times the square root of 3, all divided by 2. That's one solution. The other one is x equals 5 minus 3 times the square root of 3 over 2. But a more concise form is to write x equals 5 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 3, all divided by 2.